we're going to go ahead and take a look at measures of center. Uh, this begins chapter or section 2.5. And you're probably familiar with uh, the term mean, median and mode, uh, something that you get exposed to in middle school and then high school. Uh, but we never really talk about those early grades, those earlier grades. You never really talk about the meaning of them, really just how to calculate them. And so you can see the formula here uh, for uh, our population mean and sample mean. Uh, we call them X bar or mu. This is the Greek letter M. The mu symbol looks like a U, uh, but we call it mu. Um, X bar is uh, signifies that you're getting the mean for a sample. So you've collected some data and then you uh, find the average or mean um, and uh, we call it the x-bar versus if you have population data like information from everyone we call it the mu so we distinguish between those two um, we talk more about kind of the meaning of this measure of center and so what happens is we have all this data this from a quantitative variable and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, try to describe the data with one value its value of the center or its measure we're going to measure the data using its middle value and it may not be the literal middle value like what the median is which is the middle value of all the uh, from the data the mean is where you add them up and divide by the number of of uh, your sample size and that's your big n or n depending upon population or mean we talk about these terms here, it's going to come up, right? Easily influenced uh, by skewed distributions or outliers, right? So we've talked about this distribution. And so the mean, the median, the mode are related, right? Are the centers of these distributions, right? Because it's kind of how the data spread out. And so we want to make sure you're uh, able to uh, decide to choose, like which measure of center is appropriate, right? And in this case, we're looking at uh, the most appropriate for symmetric or unimodal distributions. We use the mean. Uh, we use the median be, uh, to measure the, the middle, the exact middle. And there's a process to do that, right, where you line up the data and you find the middle value. Um, that is also what we learn later is called, the, or we learned that it's called the 50th percentile, right, because half of the data is below this value. Uh, the median is used when the data is skewed, right? Um, it, because what we say is the median is resistant. It does not change very much if you have some outliers in the data. It kind of stays in the middle versus a mean. Um, it is uh, sensitive to outliers. We'll, we'll uh, be able to look at some of that uh, as we go on. And the mode is used for qualitative data. We well, just want to know how um how often or um, which which value comes up the most right that's the mode um and we when we care about which are the most frequent values uh, sometimes data has no mode sometimes it's bimodal meaning there's more than one um or multimodal it could be two or three um, and so keep that in mind. Here are some uh, very straightforward examples. This is stuff that you've done before. Mean, median, and mode from the data set here. Add them up and divide. Uh, I haven't get, given you that answer, but you can get that answer. Add up all those numbers and divide by five. You can take a look, and I missed it here on, on this example here. I will fill those in right now. Um, but the median, you line them up, right? So you see the process there, but for the median, what you do is you line them up and then the data in the middle. So this one here is the median. The mode comes up the most is 22. And then looking at this example here, notice the median again. The mean is you've added them and divide by how many you have. The median is always interesting because in this case, there's an even amount of values. The median is right here. And so in this case, the median for this value for this data set would be 43. And what you do is when there's an even amount, um, you look for the value that's in the middle. Okay, and this one has no mode. Um, we can do this on StatCrunch. Um, we'll take a look at that real fast. So let's take a look at that same data set we had in StatCrunch here. There was this data set here. Now looking at it in StatCrunch, once it's open, you get the data set into a column. It kind of looks like in a cell spreadsheet. And in this case, you get used to knowing how to find summary statistics of a data set. 
There's your data set there. Summary statistics, columns, and here I don't have, this data doesn't belong to any type of uh, context, so it's just variable one. And then you can choose all of these statistics over here. Uh, we'll learn some of those, but the mean, median, mode, right, or the ones that we're looking at, those measures of center. We could also, uh, percentiles, for those of you uh, interested in, we, we'll talk more about percentiles. You could find percentiles here. Uh, compute, and oops, no, mo no mode, like it came up, and I thought I had chosen the other ones, but you end up, we said we needed the mean and the median also and the mode, just to show you one more time. Oh, lost it again. Mean and median, there we go, compute. And so then you can see you get those values we're looking for. 43.5 would be the mean for that data set. And then if you're doing the artist stat here, you're gonna explore quantitative data. And we need to get the data in. So here's the original data. Control C, let me get that in there. And so what you're going to do here, you're going to have your own data. Um, there is no, there was no variable to this, right? Just call that R and then get the data in here. Get the data in here. Let me fix that again. There we go. There's your data set. And so notice it automatically gives you the value. It doesn't give you the mode there, and that's easier to find the, uh, the artist stat doesn't give you uh, the mode, but you got your mean, median. It gives you some other values of interest too that um, you'll want to know and other types of graphs that come up. So that's what we have for measures of center.